Okay, so this is the fifth shelf. And what I did is in my room, instead of having um, all the plugs like down near the floor, I got them to put them all midway up the, the wall so that I could, I knew that I wanted to put some of these. Um, so I could put like two and then one of those little ones. But um, there's a few and there's quite a bit of plugins around the room. So there's a few of them that are covered up, but that's okay. I just, I didn't know how I wanted my room set up. So there is quite a few plugins around the room. So up here I have some older tools. This is a corner rounder. I mean, look how huge that is. <laughs> it's from uh, Purple Cow, is it? Around the block. <laughs> But um, anyway, so that's uh, but that's more like for um, mini albums and stuff, like for a chipboard and that kind of stuff. But still, I've had this forever. And then I have a quick cuts. I have a long reach stapler. I have the Zutter distress distress it all. And then here is um, a little binder full of quick cuts for my quick cuts. That is here. Now underneath. Um, like I said, this room is not done, so right now the cord that powers my lights is right across my room. We plan on, you know, putting it up the wall, but that'll that'll come soon, uh, one thing at a time. But anyway, uh, so the cord is kind of in the way, but I just kind of move it for now. So this is where it's, the, it's um, apothecary, I think it was called, like it's... A lot of these, um, they don't make them anymore. Like, if you got them while they were available, you were lucky, and then now they're not. They only have specific kinds. Uh, so anyway, this is where I keep my distressings by Tim Holtz, and then uh, this I have twelve of the distress distress oxide, the first um, ones they put out. So I put them here. And then this is my embossing powders, and I put them upside down, uh, these ones, so we could see the color because it has a white, white cap. And then those, well, the cap was transparent, so there was really no need to put them over. So that's that. So again, some albums. And again, those, all three of them, I'm still... Um, deciding what I'm going to put in that so it's basically just what I didn't know where to put at the time I just kind of stuff them in there I have a cup couple project life um, from studio calico when I was a project life member and some tags so um, this is still open for you know different things that I want to maybe change it up so this is another, well actually on top is I have my DVD player and my phone, um, my house phone. And then this is another recollection container. And um, just different things, like I have pins in this one. Um, these kinds of uh, embellishments. And then I have some, the pearls for the paper dolls that you make yourself. And I have some paper clips, some 3D, uh, some bows, and some rubber embellishments, which I think I have another spot for this, so I'll probably move that. And um, just 3D embellishments. So pretty much that's all there is in here is like clothespins, some metal, and that was just some tools to put these together. But again, that basically is empty so that I can something there now these three is um, this is like cork and I put these uh, bags here so that I can use them because I didn't have a lot of cork too much cork this is tags all different types of tags um, and then here are frames so all different kinds of frames I put them in there and again you have albums and then down here I have my supplies for my Heidi Swap Mink so and all kinds of other foils so I have like you know all the stuff that you need for the mink I just put it all in one drawer 
And then here is Christmas stuff. So anything that's related to Christmas, I put it in there. So that finishes that. Then the next thing is my TV. It's mounted up on the wall. Then right underneath is one of those recollections with the, the drawers. And I just have my mink just sitting there for now. I haven't really decided, um, you know, where I'm going to set it up. So it's fine for there. Here's a power bar that's going to end up on my desk once we have it set up the way I want to. Um, and this is a giveaway that I want to do. So I put it all in that box. There's really nothing. This top here, it's all divided, but... I haven't put anything in it until the giveaway is done with. This is a spray box. So I just put it there for now because I don't know what to do with it. Uh, then I have, so this is at the very end of the room. I made an area that's a desk and it was just built with those recollection cubes. So too high. And I've pulled them away from the wall so that I could have like almost like 24 or 30 inches that way. And then at the end, okay. so somebody got here and the dog was barking. Um, so this is an Alex drawer and then the rest are recollection. And then it was just a melamine sheet on top that we got it. We cut it to size so that it would fit. So on top here, I have a couple of recollections cube. And then we just put one of those sheets so that it would join together. And then it would give me extra space to put stuff on top. And those are the ones with the markers. So I just separated the markers so then I would have, uh, you know, more shelves. So down here, it's just anything glue. It's glue dots, foam dots, 3D dots, that kind of stuff. And then the, that shelf here is just the 3D dots that didn't want to fit in the shelf. Um, a remote control, a place for business cards, a uh, notepad, a big washi tape that didn't fit anywhere else, some cards, and an Amy Tangerine stamp set. And then here I have the overflow of my um, Hero Arts ink pads. I have another place where I put them, but they don't all fit, so the rest is there. And then these are my Copics, and that's to clean uh, TV screen and also my monitor on my computer. This is just empty. I had bought this at a dollar store once and just decided to keep it. And these, I got them a year, so long ago and they're just filled with um, pens, different types of pens. I need to go through this and get rid of stuff that I don't use anymore. And just a bunch of spare blades with, I don't, I don't even use that trimmer anymore. And then this one is made for ribbons. So I have some old ribbons that I haven't changed in forever. That's to hold a photo. And one of my favorite movies of all time, Hunger Games. I kept the cup. This is a basket from the dollar store and it just has a bunch of roller date stamps. The big ones, the small ones, no rhyme or reason. And then this is just a place to keep a bunch of CDs. And that's a stand for my mic if I want to use that and this is a candle burner isn't it just the cutest thing it's a little tv I love it <laughs> it's a little retro tv so it went with my wall really well so I got that and this is a hot uh, light here and then I just have some hand cream and just a little guy here it's a winter guy but whatever okay some more inks um, some Versa inks on both sides and then some chalk ink, a stamp, and then some Heidi Swap ink and then some Studio Calico ink pads and just a few, um, re-inkers. I'll probably move them, but they're, that's where they landed for now. So here is where I keep a lot of the jewels. Not necessarily uh, enamel dots, but they're more like jewel. So I have, and then extra inks there because they fit. 
at this point that's pretty much how it's organized if it fits it's going in there <laughs> here I just have a box for one of my planners just um, a box that I made myself and so I just put it there a little notepad um, a tape holder and this uh, it goes with this stuff and it's just to hold like I could separate a kit in there if I wanted to and put on my desk but I'm just gonna keep it here for now um, it's not really organized I just put it there because I didn't know where else to put it and this is a two inch score tape and a six inch score tape and that's actually goes with another candle burner that I'll have to bring downstairs because I put it in my bedroom now so I forgot to bring that in now <clears throat> inside the desk just gonna move the chair over so in the Ikea one the first one is um, where I'm gonna put pretty much you know all different kinds of pens um, and some notebooks in there markers and some cleaner stuff next it's just a bunch of tools I've divided them all in these little containers um, some roller stamps my business cards and this is a drawer of tool <laughs> got a bunch of tool all different colors and this is just um, stamping up oh, is that stamping up paper? it's like crepe paper so I figured it went well with that the next one is just a mod podge of stuff. I have my little mic if I wanna when I wanna do um, Google Plus Hangout like live classes or live hangout. And this is a light for when I go on crops and just some extra stuff. Again, I'm probably gonna move a lot of stuff around. And this is just a drawer where I have a lot of metal. Uh, embellishments now, on my desk so this is right next to the Ikea one this is just filled with all different kind of tools actually this is what I'm holding uh, my phone with now just so that it's a little more stable and what I filmed um, for the stitch happy so I can film that level. This is some labels. See, a lot of the drawers are quite empty. It's just that that way I can spread out. So I have another glue gun here, some glue sticks, a scoreboard, and just some papers for notes. And then down here I have a circle cutter. I have a spot for my Wacom tablet while my son's using it. Another circle cutter. And that one is pretty much empty. It's got uh, a stamping thing for my um, silhouette, which I'll probably move because I have another spot for that. And then my on top of my desk, I have my silhouette. And I have the instructions right behind there. And then I have a thing of markers right there. Now, this I bought at... Michaels and I just want to put it on my wall 911 so I gotta I gotta find uh, a shelf that I can put that up with it's just sitting there for now until I find a shelf now this one here it's just basically like stationary stuff so I have extra lead pencils you know some white out some papers a calculator just that kind of stuff here is uh, journaling stuff so I'll probably move like this one over here there and then move the labels over here so it all kind of goes together but when I was separating stuff it was just easier just to know a certain spot and then just uh, use it for that so this is this is the journaling stuff what is this okay so something got caught behind there I just had to let it let it loose so it's all good now these are the four, they're like four by four cubes, or six by six cubes, six by six cubes. 
So here I have my extra candles stuff. So I don't have to go downstairs. And I have glues, extra glues. And down here too, it's all my extra glue stuff. And this too. I have extra score tape. Uh, create a sticker for the little X machine, the Xyron. And that's this wall. Okay, so right next to that desk is my window. So that's where I have um, an umbrella that has like a light. And then I have this white cardboard that I just put right here on the floor. And that's where I take pictures of my layouts right near the, the sunlight. And then I have an Alex drawer right here that holds my Cricut. And then these are all filled with punches. So I divided them all with um, all different size punches. That's... So it's a great, great one for, for punches because there's lots of room. that it's all filled with punches and then I also have a light on there just in case I need to light up that corner okay so now next to that that's where it starts my other wall so now it goes down that way and while I think about it the dimensions of my room is 24 by 13 <clears throat> So this one here has one, two, three, four, five, four by four, like four by four, that it's four high, four tall. So they're 16 there. And then those ones there have uh, two by four. So I just, I wanted to be able to put some washi tape up there and more six by six pattern paper pads there. So that's where I have my older albums that are done it's right down to the floor so those are older ones okay we'll do what's on top i just have some um albums with pictures in it that i need to scrap i have some colossal um different templates right here <clears throat> and that's just empty just to hold the books up. And then I have a bunch of flowers, Prima flowers. And then I have another one of those cookie jars that that one holds inks, small ink pads, like Prima ink pads. So the first one here, that's all albums, all the way down. Then the next one is one of those uh, cubes that have the six by six. I took one out because uh, you'll see that I put um, my 6x6 six six pattern papers in it. But that's where I keep my Gypsy for my Cricut. And that's just um, a stamp set, like a DIY monogram stamper kit. I don't know if I'm going to keep it, but it's there for now. This is really tight. That's just uh, like paper. What do you call that? tissue paper and then that's um, material and that's just like 3d stuff so like elastics rolling pins like just stuff to make mini albums and this is where I keep my foam And then up here, these are some of my favorites. I wish they would have kept those recollections, but I have some buttons. I'll probably have to change my button uh, area because I have way more buttons and they won't fit in there. And I have only a couple things here. As I find more and more rubber stuff, I'll have to put them in there because I know I have some more rubber stuff. Uh, some enamel shapes, they're all in there. And some sewing stuff. That's that. Then the rest of this row 
is all albums. Then we start with this, and that's where I store some of my pattern papers. Now these ones here, they're all um, for Disney. So I kept them all together, and they're all different collections that I put all in one of those baggies. Like this one is a Simple Stories one that I just got at Crop and Create. So I kept it in there. And then underneath that, I have um, older templates. Like this is Puzzle Mate templates. Um, that's some doll, paper doll templates. I just kept everything. And... Um, just different stuff. Now I did buy some of these to see if I could use them. They're to put a whole collection and then you have a place to put your stickers and stuff. So I haven't transferred any collection in there yet. But I just got two to try them out. See if I like them. And then again, that, that means that I just got this collection not too long ago. And I haven't separated it yet. So that's another one that I got at Crop and Create. Then you go down and it's albums again and um, this is letter templates this is my first album that I ever did <laughs> okay and then another one of these so this one is just like strips so that's where I put the branding strips and just like uh, long pieces there border strips this is anything like that has like washies and stuff I see this that doesn't go there that goes with the other ones over there and then this is all puffy stickers so anything that's puffy stickers I just stick them in there and then this is those um, little words from Ellie studio so I only have a few but I don't want them to break so until they're gone they'll have that whole thing so down here is where I keep my felt, which I love. And down here, it's all cross stitch. So, you know, patterns, and then I have material and some of them that I've already started. And then this side is all my floss and different things. Okay, so this is where we left off, right there. So the next one next to it is another one, two, three, four, five uh, recollections cubes in a row. Now the top is all uh, close to my heart kits. I was uh, a member of you buy so much a month and then once a year you're the hostess. So I still have all the kits there. I did that for uh, two, two and a half years. And then below that is close to my heart cardstock and just some different, uh, this is Stampin' Up, but it's like newsprint paper for mixed media, some different, um, I just have this sleeve here that has all different types of pattern pap uh, papers like, um, vellum and acetate and even like mesh paper so I have it all in this plastic container then next to that um, is just some Stampin' Up pattern papers that I didn't want to take apart you'll see where I took apart a lot of them and um, then here it's 12 by 12 chipboard sheets, uh, this thing here. Then below that, everything, there's quite a few in this section that is empty because it's, these banks are fairly new. So um, I don't know if you guys remember those, those puzzle template books. This is the number one, um, yeah, number and celebration. Um, so I haven't unpacked all of those yet, but I figured for now, I'll just put them in there. I don't know where. And this one is empty. And then the, another recollections cube, which is like one of those, but flipped horizontally. So I have two containers that are from close to my heart. Um, 
that just hold this one's empty so place to grow and this one is um digital sheets to cut apart like labels and that kind of stuff and that's where i'm keeping my 12 by 12 in blade ink blending mat for now and then these are some recently done layouts that I still need to take pictures of and um, post on YouTube and then this is some eight six by eight or eight six by eight page protectors and again that's to do my catalog of all my um, my supplies so I have a bunch here to get that done and then again pretty much empty um, these are memory flip flaps and these ones are the same thing but they're from page Ad paper adventures that is super old they're called they call theirs page flippers but it's the same thing I'll probably find somewhere else to put that but for now I just put it there uh, some ribbon not organized it's just in there and then this is um, my 6x12 page protectors for my thickers and then the 12x12 12 12 or 13x15 big bags to make page kits. I have a whole lot more than that but the rest I'm keeping down in the basement and I'm just keeping enough so that I can um, <clears throat> make some kits. Now the next one is I have two of those cubes that I had taken out of the four by four ones and I'm putting some six by six pattern papers and then I have an overflow um, that doesn't fit in there so then the neck underneath that is I have four that are all the same and that is all my pa uh, pattern paper kits that are in alphabetical order. So <clears throat> you have American Craft, and then you have Basic Gray, and then Crate Paper, and then, um, <clears throat> or maybe it's, yeah, Bow Bunny first. What's this? Yeah, basic Gray still. Then Bow Bunny. So that's the one with the stickers and all that then down here is crepe paper and so on and so forth like um it's still crepe paper echo park echo park i have quite a bit of echo park and fancy pants <clears throat> um and i have you know it's all by alphabetical order right down to studio calico and simple stories and that kind of stuff okay so the next one next to that on top I have a basket this was a fruit basket and um, I just put paper or just leftover of um, like the plastic sheets so I can do some mixed media so I just have somewhere to put it now and it's just nice and contained then next to that is just a whole bunch of paintbrushes. They're not necessarily good paintbrushes. It's just if I want to not to, you know, paintbrushes that I don't have to worry about, those would be the ones that I would go to. And then this I got at Michael's and it's to um, a great place to put your washi. And what I like is that it comes out and it sits like that. So I am... Um, I showed you at the beginning where I keep the rest of my washi and one of the containers that I have filled one of these so that means that I would need five of those to put all my washi in some of these so I decided just to get one and either I'll switch them out or um, maybe instead of all blue all pink and multicolor is just put a row of each and then once I get tired of those washies then I'll change them out but I'll probably work that out at a later time and this is all uh, cut aparts they're super old um, this is from the berry patch 
and like I said, super old. I don't know if it has a year on it. 2001. That's how long I've had that. <laughs> I don't think this company exists anymore. But they used to do um, printouts like this, and then you just cut them apart yourself. So I got some of that in there, quite a bit actually. And then this is something else that's super old. That's from uh, Pro Craft. They're called Headliners. Uh, coordinating titles, frames, and shapes. So same thing. It's all stuff that you know you cut apart yourself. So I'm not gonna get rid of those. I'm just gonna keep them and hopefully use them once in a while. That's pretty much empty. It just has the ThermoWeb sticky dots, which I'll probably find somewhere else for it. I just it was empty, so I was able to put it there. Now this is all newer products. That's where I picked the stuff from. Uh, to make my last kit for all the pages that I'm making this month. So once I, you know, it's been there a while, then I can put them wherever they belong. This um, is just, this, what is this tool? I can't remember what it's called. Well, it's from Pearlcraft. It's called Robin Bob Studio. It's basically just to put little of these at the end of your... Um, papers and to put little flags or whatever so I just have a bunch of those some more inks from Prima and these are book binding um, tapes book binding tape from making memories so I have two or three of them in there and like I said these drawers I can take them out and move them around if I don't like where it is exactly so then this one is pretty much empty too. It's just got a, a journal in there. And this is just a bunch of scraps uh, that as I was unpacking, I just kind of put them all in here and hopefully I'll go through them and make a few page kits with them before I separate it all. Now the next one is one of those where I can fit some little baskets. So this one here has um, 3D uh, paint in it from Scribbles. And the next one just has these that you can put ribbon on them and separate them all. And then you want some of these for floss. So I just decided to put them all in there and see if I still want them or whatever the case may be. These are watercolors, so these actually could go on the other side of the room and um, if I have room and move something else here. But these are Dr. P.H. Martin's Hydras fine watercolors. So I have a bunch of them in there and then um, also some ink in red and in blue. Then the next, oh, and then here it's just uh, Project Life boxes. And I think this is all like leftovers, like from kits, and I need to put them away. This I have cardstock, mainly black and white and brown and stuff because that's what I use the most. So when I'm doing a page, I can just quickly grab one of those colors if I need it. The last three drawers are all ribbon, but these are organized, not like the other drawer. This one I took the time to organize them. These are all uh, paper tray ink ribbons. And then these are all Stampin' Up. And these are all Stampin' Ups too. So, but these are all divided and they're a little neater than the, the last one I just showed, which eventually I'll take the time to organize them. So the next thing over this is one of the only things that I have to like to decorate my room. Um, this is the Heidi Swap letters and then um, the little shelf. So I just got the end for Nicole and then the mint little light bulbs. So, And then back here I have, um, it's a powder, like you can, it's fairly big actually and um, so you can do your embossing and so it doesn't go all over the place and then you can put it back in your bottle and then this is typecast and it's from we are memory keeper and it went 
with this um, We Are Memory Keeper typewriter, so I just keep it together. It fits nicely there, and then I'll remember to use that. Then that is sitting on top of an Alex drawer thing. And so the first one on top is more embossing powders. These are more like Stampin' Up. The other side was more um, other brands, but this is mostly Stampin' Up. So I put them all together. Second one is all sponges and all inking tools. Then next it has a lot of uh, refills, like re-inkers. And then I got one of my uh, Tim Holtz tools that I don't use much, but I put it here because it also has alcohol inks and I have the alcohol, um, oh, what are they called? Felts for the alcohol inks. And then I have these little, they're like little, um, bottle caps and I like them to put little embellishments in it. So that's that. The next one is, um, it's to make flares. I have, eventually I'll show you there, but I have a machine to make my own flares. So this is all the supplies for that. And then this is again, some reinkers, some stamping up uh, writing markers, some index cards, um, some writing like pencils and pens. I have a glitter cleanup cloth on this side and then just some hand cream and this is like my mixed media um, drawer so I have um, some stamp sets for mixed media I have um, some planner stamp sets because they were so they're like the bigger kind but I have all kinds of bigger stamp sets in here that I can use for mixed media Next one is kind of like a mix, a mishmash of different things. So I have um, some strips here for um, some wires so that I can, you know, tie up bags and that kind of stuff. I have some pins, I have some Velcros, some stables, some micro, um, some slides, and some foils, some binder rings. Um, all, you know, the extra spoons, so all different kinds of stuff. Then here is how I keep my embellishments um, that are already open. So I showed you a few drawers that packages were not open. So once they're open, then I put them into these containers. And actually last night I started... Um, dividing them and I'm going to divide them by color. So I have two drawers of those. So that's why there's some missing there because I I had them out on my desk and I'm starting to divide them by color and see how I like that. So that finishes that Alex drawer.